Hey, what's up guys? Rado here with Dirt and Iron. Today we're gonna continue working on my WR450. Carburetor is out, so we are going to jet it using jetty jetting kit. So stick around. Hey, if you are new to this channel, you know what to do. Hit the button below and jump on the board. I have new videos each week and I'll do my best to keep you guys motivated. Before we go any further, today's shout out goes to Jason. Hey man, thanks a lot for getting a t-shirt and thanks for your support. If you guys uh, have a t-shirt, please send a picture to me, I'll give you a shout out. And if you don't have a t-shirt yet, there is a link below in the description, you know what to do. In my previous videos, I worked on WR450 and I did a free mod, which is uh, airbox modification, uh, gray wire, throttle stop and uh, exhaust. So all this has been done and this is pretty much the last thing I'm gonna do before this bike will turn into a beast and run really sweet. So. Uh, as you can see, this is not the first time I'm using JDJ in kit. I had them on my other bikes and I really like the product. I like uh, the response I get uh, from a throttle when I install these things. I follow 100% what they say here in, in, this, uh, in this little paper. They tell you exactly what needle to use and what clip position to put your, uh, your needle and what kind of uh, pilot jet and main jet. All this is here. So if you buy JDJ in kit, just follow whatever they say. It's really good baseline. Usually, it's uh, really crisp right uh, from the beginning when you install what they say. So we're gonna do that today. We're gonna do the pilot jet, we're gonna do the main jet, we're gonna do uh, the custom needles. You know, they do their own needles. Uh, this is really something uh, great for your bike. It's a really nice transition when you go on a gas, you don't really feel that uh, hesitation when you are going from low RPM to mid range and to high RPM. I really like these needles. And so we're gonna, go, we're gonna do that. And the last thing you're gonna do is uh, this O-ring that goes on the accelerator pump, which is also helping a lot with your throttle response. All right, let's start with the needle. On these carburetors on FCRs or flat CR, the needle is uh, right under this cover. It's, it's right here. So you need an Allen to take this bolt out. That's the bolt. Needle comes out. So this is my stuck needle. And then just gonna look at the manual here, the recommendation. So WR I'm at uh, three to six thousand feet, so I'm gonna go with red needle on the fifth position. Alrighty, so I'm gonna get red. I need to take this clip out. We get a needle nose. Make red. Fifth position, that's fifth from the top. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. So my needle is on a fifth position from the top. All we need to do, slide it back in. Make sure it sits down and put this bolt back in. There you go. So the needle is done. You, you know, we can still play with the needle position. And maybe uh, if it's too cold, then you can make it a little bit richer. Or you can, uh, you can even go with a blue needle. Blue needle, this one, is made, it will make your fuel a little bit richer. It's for a cold condition. But I wanna go 100% with, with what they say and then I can still play with it just a little more, if needed. All right, I'm gonna go and do our jets. I already had the carburetor open, so everything is loose. Here is your main jet, and down there there is a pilot jet. So let's do first the main jet, take it out. 
We're gonna go with the recommendation, which is 168. One sixty eight, that's what it is. All right, it's a main jet. Next is our pilot jet. Let's take it out. So we had, we actually had number 50, which is fairly big for WR. So somebody was already playing with the jetting. I have this bike for maybe 2-3 months now. So if somebody was doing something already. The bike was running pretty sweet even before. Definitely wasn't lean in the low RPM. Okay, so we put 145. Recommended from JD Jetting and it's the jet that comes in a kit 168 main we got our needle We'll put back this plug I think that's 70 millimeters we can tie it up later and now This is an interesting part. This is your accelerator pump right here and uh, this arm Has tendency to, to Go like this and then when you go on the throttle, you don't really have that instantaneous response. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put the O-ring on this bolt and on the arm that will hold it together, will give us better throttle response. So JD Ditching says that uh, this small O-ring gives you 40% and this big gives you 80% increase in the fuel pressure. I wanna go 80. So this little guy will give us 80% increase. Now you need to go around this bolt, bring it in, and then you go around this arm. Just be patient. Just like that. So now you're gonna have better throttle response. That was easy. So this is for the JD jetting on your carburetor. We did needle, we did jettings, and we did the O-ring mod. Now we put everything back together, install it on my bike, and see how it runs. All right, so everything is back in. I installed the carburetor and uh, put the fuel screw about two and a half turns out. That's uh, what should be okay with this setting. It's a little bit cold outside, so uh, maybe what I'm gonna do different needle but I'll first uh, run it a little bit uh, and see if uh, you know this is something I like so let's see how it sounds Not bad, huh? Let's do it again. So far it sounds pretty good. I think I'm happy. So tomorrow, I guess, tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, I'm gonna take it for a quick spin and see how it feels on the trails. Maybe I need to adjust it a little bit, but for now everything seems to be uh, working fine. It idles well, I adjusted everything, I warm it up, so now bike is warm, it started okay on a choke. So, so far I'm happy, let's see how this bike runs once I take it out on the trails. Alright guys, that's about it for this video and don't forget, whatever you do, stay motivated. See you later.